I am tempted to just snatch it from him. She's not the nicest of girls, let's just put it that way. Hello everyone, my name is Berta and welcome back to my channel. Today we are starting the Asylum Challenge. And what I want to do today is to explain the challenge, introduce you to The Sims and the lot and start playing. Okay, so the story behind the Asylum Challenge is that you play one Sim and he or she has been brought to the Asylum against his or her will. This is going to be our sim, so uh, she's a female. So she's brought there against her will and in order to prove to her therapist that she is ready to leave the asylum, she has to finish three aspirations. Depending on the level that you're playing, this can differ, but we are play playing in medium mode. So we have to complete three aspirations. The thing is that we can't control the other sims and the asylum is lacking. So there are not enough beds, not enough toilets, not enough showers, etc, etc. All the furniture and stuff is the cheapest that you can get. So it's gonna be chaos. Now, I've got eight sims here, of which only the first one I have made myself. And the other ones are made by a friend of mine. So I will introduce you to all the sims, give them their backstory, and then we'll go into the game. So the sim that we are going to play with is Eve Morton. And Eve is a hot-headed sim. She's jealous and erratic. By the way, all the sims have to have the erratic trait. And her first aspiration is going to be a serial romantic, which I do realize is a more difficult one. But we're going to try it anyways. <laughs> so I'll, I'll give you her backstory. Eve is a very sweet looking girl and was living the life that many dreamt of. But she's very jealous and manipulative. This is also the reason why her ex broke up with her not too long ago. Eve couldn't handle this and decided to take back control. A few weeks later, her ex was nowhere to be found and the investigators found some very disturbing entries in Eve's diary. She claims that she has nothing to do with his disappearance, but her strange behavior says otherwise. It seems like she's out for some serious revenge. So that's the sim that we're going to be playing with. This sim and the other six sims are made by my friend and her gallery name is Kath Nibs. I will pop up a screenshot of her gallery right now. So you can all go follow her, download her sims, download her builds. She makes amazing builds. And yeah, give her some support. So this is Zelda Marrero. Zelda is a troubled girl. It seems like she never outgrew being a child, which can be a blessing because she's unbelievably creative and visionary, but it can also be a curse because she's very unpredictable and immature. Her life goal is to find a partner she can love with all her heart. She is sexy and confident. Men are naturally drawn to her. Whenever a man acts on her advances, she immediately deduces he is the one for her and she gets obsessive and stalky. After an incident, judge ruled she needed psychological treatment. The point is, we don't know what the incident is, um, except for the fact that she got this scar from that incident. So I guess we are going to find out what happened to her. Also, Zelda's traits are erratic, creative, childish, and uh, she has the soulmate aspiration. Then, this is Sarah Malone. I don't know how to pronounce the, the last name actually, but Sarah, uh, <laughs> she's very ambitious. When she was 11 years old, she was discovered during a sprint competition. Ever since her discovery, her life was all about athletics training, competitions, and an overall healthy lifestyle. She adores cooking and discovering new recipes and ingredients. Unfortunately, her competitiveness can get in the way of her usual kind self. During her last competition, she sabotaged a fellow competitor's gear, which put the victim in the hospital and herself in the asylum. And her traits are ambitious. Oh wait, she has to have the erratic trait. I need to change this. Ambitious, hot-headed, and a foodie. I'll change this one because we already my sims yeah. already hot-headed. So let's change the the traits up. So erratic. There you go. Right. <laughs> Our next sim is Flora de Lafayette. Flora is very lovable. She's funny, bright, and creative. People and animals alike want to be her friend and spend as much time as possible with her. That explains the surprise when Flora announced her visit to the asylum on her own initiative. The happiness that surrounds her is not reflected on her inside, as she struggles with severe depression issues. She secretly wants nothing more than a loving partner and a couple of pets, but she knows her current state is blocking any future happiness. 
So this is, from all the eight sims that we have, the only sim that is in the asylum on her own initiative. I'm very curious to see how this is going to play out for her. Anyhow, she is neat, gloomy and creative. And again, we do need to change one of the traits. So I'm going to, because we have a creative sim already, we're going to change this into erratic. <laughs> And uh, yeah, her aspiration is friend of the animals. It doesn't really matter what their aspirations are because we can't play as them anyways, but just for your information. <laughs> okay, so this is Jonathan Jr. Spades. He is your textbook sketchy entrepreneur. He is ambitious and dedicated, but is more than willing to sacrifice others in the process. If you have something he wants, he will stop at nothing to take it from you. He's had several girlfriends, but never longer than a couple of weeks. His company was shut down because it was basically a huge scam. He was supposed to go to chill, but his complete lack of compassion in court towards those he harmed resulted in obliged therapy in the asylum. And his traits, self-absorbed, non-committal and uh -huh. jealous. Let's, uh, because my sim is jealous, I'm gonna give him the mm. erratic trait instead. <laughs> and he wants to be fabulously wealthy. Then, Victoria Vendetta. Victoria met Max three years ago. The first two years of their relationship, they traveled together with Vic's band. Back in Newcrest, they decided to get married straight away. It didn't take long for her to get pregnant. Unfortunately, their happiness wasn't meant to last. Max got a horrible accident that took his life. When the child was born, Vic couldn't send the sight of her as she reminded her of her husband. One night, she got too drunk and drowned the child in her misery. Which is such a sad and somewhat disturbing story. Anyhow, uh, she's romantic, self-assured and music lover. And she has the Ooh. big happy family aspiration, I'm thinking, which one I am going to change into erratic. There <laughs> we go. Our next sim is Nick Fitch. And Nick grew up in a rural area with conservative farmers for parents. Nick taught himself how to program and got very good at it. When he wasn't playing games or programming, he would fantasize about living in the big city with a loving partner and a bunch of kids. However, due to financial issues, he hasn't succeeded in finding a place for himself. In an attempt to hack some medical documents for entertainment, he accidentally messed with the hospital's network. He chose the asylum over jail time. So he is here because of an accident, basically. And he has the city native aspiration. He's a genius geek and he's a good person. I'm going to change this one. Don't ask me why I chose that one because I couldn't choose. Then we have Alonso Hernandez. And Alonso is a very likable dude. After only one conversation, you absolutely fall in love with this man. His friendliness, genuine interests and quick wits make him a very welcome guest in any household. It's easy to talk with Alonso, but it's difficult to get to know him. He doesn't like talking about himself. He'd rather discuss his love for nature and animals. He lives as a vegetarian and owns a dog, which he had to leave behind to undergo therapy in the asylum. Try to figure out why. So we know something about Alonso, but we don't know why he is in the asylum, hmm. which is going to be very, very interesting. I'm going to keep the loner trait. I never play with the loner trait because it's so difficult. Part the <laughs> but I think it will add a lot to this challenge to have a loner in our midst. Okay, so now we are going to play. So this is the asylum. Again, this asylum is made by my friend. So go check out her gallery profile and give her some love. Because she definitely deserves this. She literally made this for me because I am not a good builder. Okay, so I'm going to show you the inside. Whoop. Oops. When you walk in, this is the living room with a chess table and there's a bookcase, a computer and a guitar and an easel. So we won't get too bored. <laughs> this is the kitchen, which looks terrible. It's in a terrible state, but we're going to have to deal with it. Then here is the bathroom um, with the sink, here's the toilet and the shower. Now the thing is, I could have made these two different rooms. That is allowed because death by embarrassment tends to happen a lot because, you know, there's eight, there are eight sims and they all need to pee and they all need to shower. So they walk in on each other a lot. 
but I decided to try without different rooms first just to see how, how this will go basically okay let's oh you can see there is no dining area that's because according to the rules we can only have six seating spots in total as you can see we have got one two three four five six chairs in the living room and that's it we can't have any more then let's speed through this is a hallway into the bedrooms so here's a room with three beds and then there is a second room here with two beds it's all very simple and plain but I guess that's what the whole asylum challenge is about. So yeah, this is the asylum and this is where we're going to be living. So let's have her go inside. Okay, so there are many more rules and I don't think it would be interesting to hear me read them aloud to you right now. So I will t just tell you the rules as soon as I actually have to explain something. We can have two non-controllable sims have jobs and they must be in a criminal career. And uh, since we don't really have a different income, source of income right now, I think it would be smart to actually do that. Okay, so don't ask me why, but I think Jonathan and Alonso are the ones that would be in a criminal career so I'm gonna I mean I need to control them to give them this job so I have to do this for a second he's already embarrassed from musical insecurity oh that's sweet anyhow a uh, job 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 find a job and you as well mr. Alonso Okay, so Jonathan is going to be in the criminal career because that's the only one we can do. And then Mr. Alonso as well. Now we can also have a job, but I don't know if that's the best idea for now. Let's just start without a job now. Um, she acquired the fitness skill already because I forgot to say, but there is a basketball rig is that what you call it basketball rig outside so they can you know do some sports um we are allowed to only have six skill building items and the bookcase and stove etc those kind of things don't count so we've got um the basketball rig we've got the chess table that's two three for the easel four for the guitar five for the computer and what else do we have did i just forget about something that we have one two three four five can we only have five maybe i'm confused i'm gonna check yeah only five skill building it building items it's all fine it's all fine i don't need to change anything i can't change anything anymore by the way so yeah Sh what is she doing she is <laughs> trolling the forums um i think it would be good what is she gonna do i'll wait i'm gonna have her take a shower because now she still can please leave Dear Sarah, thank you. So now we can have a shower. Zelda is uh, playing in the rain, I guess. And running around the asylum. Well, if she wants to do that, that's fine by me. What are the other ones up to? They are having a nice conversation. She's playing The Sims, which I don't blame her. I like it too. What are they doing? I think they're all talking to themselves. All right. I'm wondering, okay, what, what does she need to do for her aspiration? She needs to have a boyfriend or girlfriend and go on two dates. So I am thinking, who do we want to get 
romantic with. I think Nick is a very nice guy. He's also closest to us. So let's let's talk to him. From behind the wall, apparently. Um, let's talk about the rain, because why not? Brighten his day. Tell him a joke about politicians. Can we get to know him? Get to know? Let's just speed through this. Also, by the way, my girl Eve, I um, had created her uh, even bef like before starting this challenge. And um, that version of her is up on the gallery if you want to download her. My origin ID is Bertha LP, so B E R T H E L P, and you can find her uh, as well as other Sims over there. I won't be uploading the other Sims from this challenge because you can get those on my friend's gallery if you want to. She needs to, well, she doesn't need to go to the toilet, but it is still free now, so I think I might have her go when she has had her shower so well, she wants to kiss someone let's let's pin that one okay so can she please just hurry up so i can pee that would be really great you know great now we can go to the toilet please do it quickly girl okay so what i want her to do is I want her to develop a skill that can earn us money. So I am thinking of having her paint because once you advance, like level up skill, the painting skill, you can earn quite a lot of money from painting. But we could also hack, you know, and, and get to programming. But, um,. Yeah, just just let me know what you guys think would be the best option to have her paint or get into programming and hack stuff for money. And I think you can make game plugins or something like that. I've never really played with that before, so let me know what, what you would prefer. Um, buy a bee box. No, honey, we're not going to buy a bee box and play in the rain. We can do that because we are allowed to to buy bonus traits with our happiness points are they called happiness points sometimes i i forget names of those kind of things just points i don't know oh well those points you earn with completing wins and stuff so i thought maybe we should complete some of those wins in order to get some traits that might be beneficial to us. Yeah, so she's painting. Where is Nick? Oh, he's cooking. Please do not start a fire. I would hate it if we had a fire on our first day. That would really suck. So I hope he's making a salad. Is he? Ah, it looks like he's making a salad. He is very smart. I like him already. We really need to get to know him better. But let, let's have him cook first. How are we feeling? Oh, wait. She finished her painting. This is her first painting. I mean, it is not special. But I don't think it's bad either. So let's sell this. Oh, she will get fame from that. Let's go for it. So, she's talking to Victoria Vendetta, who has been playing games, I think, ever since she arrived here. So, I, I guess she's into gaming. Let's talk to uh, Nick. Let's, uh... Wait. Okay. Sorry, I had to leave for a second because a package was delivered. What were we doing? We were gonna talk to Nick, yeah. Go ahead, girl. Um, Nick made one portion of salad. I am tempted to just snatch it from him, even though he probably made it for himself. I don't know if she's that kind of person. I think she is, actually. So, let's just eat the garden salad, because we can. 
She's not the nicest of girls, let's just put it that way. I think I am ending this episode here. So next episode we will focus on getting to know Nick, maybe get romantic with him so we can go on a date and, you know, maybe have him become our boyfriend. That would be really nice. And uh, yeah, just let me know if, if you want um, Eve to get into painting or uh, programming to earn us some money. And yeah, I think that, that's, yeah, that's going to be it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more of my videos. I am very, very excited for this Let's Play and I hope you are too. Thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next episode. Bye!